okay uh, today's topic is um, you know expensing semiconductor topping p type semiconductor as well as the n type semiconductor okay so what is the topping process topping process what it is and the extrinsic semiconductor you know the pure semiconductor is neutral pure semiconductor is neutral uh, <clears throat> neutral in a sense that uh, let me consider an example of the silicon silicon having the four valence electrons okay it is having its four valence electron and to acquire the configuration like the noble gases it needs the four more electron mean it want to have either two electron in the valence shell eight 18 like that but it is having four so it is not possible for silicon to lose all the four electron so what's the other alternative silicon shares electron with the other four silicon atoms with this one with this one with this one and with this one when it shares the electron with the other nearby four silicon atoms you know that sharing of the electron mean covalent bond formation now there is a covalent bond here covalent bond here covalent bond here and covalent bond here it seems that now this silicon atom having eight electrons in the valence shell so that means it is now okay saturate it is having like configuration noble cases it's not having any free electron no free electron mean the pure semiconductor is an insulator at zero kelvin it is very important zero kelvin mean minus 273 degrees celsius because at that temperature all the bonds they are good and there is no breakage of bond, no breakage of bond, no, no electron or hole, okay, no carrier, and uh, no carrier mean insulation insulator because not having any carrier to conduct the electricity to conduct the charge, so it is an insulator, okay. So with the application of the thermal energy, you know, with the application of the thermal energy, a bond may break. There is a breakage of bond, like if this, there is a breakage, then electron comes out from this place and it is at here now. And that place, vacant place, that is the deficiency of electron is here. That is called a hole. Hole mean missing electron position or deficiency or the vacancy. So it is called the hole. So with the breakage of one bond, you know, one electron and one hole, that is a pair is formed. And this pair then contributes for the electrical conduction when the potential is applied to this semiconductor. Okay. So this is intrinsic semiconductor and the conductivity will be only because of the only because of the thermal energy the carriers which are generated by the thermal energy okay when potential is applied it it will show a small conductivity and to increase the you know current or to increase the conductivity a more efficient method is used by adding a very small of impurity okay in the pure semiconductor when impurity is added then semiconductor becomes extrinsic okay like you take an example of this one that the phosphorus is added you know phosphorus is pentavalent 
having the 5 electron in the valence shell, 4 electron comes in the bond. Okay, 4 electrons comes in the bond, but 1 electron left. And that means the this the, this phosphorus it lets the electron to free. Now this this electron freely moves inside the crystal. So with addition of one impurity atom, one electron is generated. So it is the additional electrons other than the thermal electron hole pair. So adding a very small amount of impurity means addition of million trillions of the electrons. So in this type of semiconductor, now number of electrons becomes very large as compared to the number of holes. So this is called n-type semiconductor because the carrier are mostly electrons for the conduction. Now if you take an example of the trivalent impurity like gallium, gallium is having valence 3 electrons. This is one, this is other, this is other three. So there is already, uh, you know, a deficiency. So one impurity atom may create a one deficiency. So addition of small amount of gallium mean addition of the millions of the holes. So in this type of semiconductor, the, the holes which are created by the impurity are additional other than the electron hole pair which are generated by the thermal energy. So in this way, number of hole becomes very, very large in the in this type of semiconductor. So this is called P-type semiconductor. Okay. So impurity added is generally very small amount. And this impurity is called and the process of impurity, the process of addition of impurity is called, you know, topping. So topping is the addition of small amount of impurity. And the process of topping helps to increase the number of the free charge carriers like electrons as well as the holes and then can be moved by an external applied voltage okay by the external field now if the pentavalent impurity is added you know pentavalent have having the five valence electron like here arsenic okay arsenic is pentavalent silicon is tetravalent so each pentavalent atom donates one electron to the semiconductor so number of free electron, the so dot semiconductor is called n-type. The impurity is known as donor impurity because they donate the electrons to the semiconductor. Here the example is again silic arsenic, arsenic donating the electron. And if the trivalent impurity is added like the gallium, it produces one hole, it creates one hole. So there will be more holes now because each impurity gives one hole, each impurity atom, tribal and impurity atom. So these type of atom are called the acceptor atom because they accept the electrons from the nearby germanium atom. So this is called the acceptor impurity. Indium you know, having, uh, you know, the tetravalent and it creates a hole, hole here. Sorry, it creates a hole here. So this is a scepter atom, maybe indium, maybe gallium. So semiconductor which are topped either with N or P type is that for an extrinsic semiconductor. They are called extrinsic. Because now this N type, this is extrinsic, this is extrinsic P type. So here number of electrons are very, very large. Here number of holes are very, very large. Now one thing is very important. 
Now n type having very large number of electron because of the impurity donor atoms but even then n type remains neutral it is not as a whole having negative charge if somebody asks you n type is negatively charged no it is never negatively charged charge is balanced in type the n type semiconductor it is not charged the only thing is the electrons are available for the conduction which are available in a very very large number okay because if the electron are available on the other hand the atoms donating atoms they acquire the positive uh, charge because of losing the electron so inside the n type you know there are the positive ions impurity ions because they they, are, they becomes ion when they uh, they left the electron to be free so the ions and electron total charge is balanced n type is not negatively charged n type in a sense mean now having very large number of electrons similarly the p type semiconductor is not positively charged the only thing is it is having the holes in a very large amount and which can contribute for the conduction but it is not positively charged because acceptor atom it accepts the electron and creates the hole by accepting the electron they becomes the negative ion so they they are the same number of negative ion as the number of holes there are in p type so p type is again a neutral so it is not positively charged this is very important point the only thing is it is having the holes in a very large amount and which can contribute for the electrical conduction so n type is neutral p type is neutral so for n type we have the um, you know group fifth element what is the group fifth element this one like this is the group fifth element so you can add phosphorus arsenic antimony and the semiconductor becomes n type group fifth element you know valence electron they are five valence electron are five okay and for p type semiconductor we use the we use the group third of periodic table group 3 so with group 3 there is boron aluminium gallium like that they are the acceptor atoms the only three electrons valence electron and the semiconductor becomes p type the top semiconductor is called extrinsic semiconductor okay thank you please subscribe my channel